no i puneet upadhyay dealing with the subject computer integrated manufacturing today we are going to discuss regarding the chapter construction of cnc machine so what will be covered in this session what is the cnc the design factors involved in the machine structure the static load the dynamic load the thermal load and the guide base so before starting this session let me know that what is a cnc machine cnc machine is nothing but the computer numerical control machine which uses programmable software in the form of codes basically in the form of g and m codes which is embedded in a microcomputer attached to the tool which controls the automations here the g represents the preparatory codes and m represents the miscellaneous codes which will be uh, studying in the later chapters so technical perspective point of view cnc is a method for automating control of machine tools through the use of software embedded in a microcomputer attached to the tool the common machine tools are mills lathe routers grinders and lasers next we'll be studying regarding the basic design factors involved in design of machine structure before that you need to know what is a structure the structure is nothing but a load carrying members so what are the design factors involved in designing this structures so there are totally 10 factors which are used to design design the structure first one is the static load the dynamic load the thermal load the guide ways the feed drives feed drives there are two types servo motor mechanical transmission system the next one is the spindle a spindle bearing there are three types hydrodynamic bearing hydrostatic bearing then anti friction bearing next one is the measuring system first one is direct second one is the indirect eighth one is the controls software and user interface ninth one is the gauging then last is a tool monitoring system that is direct and in direct so basically first we'll be studying the different types of the loads that is the static loads dynamic load and thermal load so before dealing with let me show you the lathe skeleton structure as you all seen from the diagram uh, that is a, this is a lathe machine it has the head stock the tail stock the spindle the compound rest the carriage the cross slide uh, the uh, feed bearing the bed so what is this static load the it is a load on the structure due to the weight of the slides or the attachment etc uh, so here the load may be in the form of the head stock or the tail stock or the compound rest so here uh, this type of loads doesn't have any movement okay they fall on the structure so the structure must be strong enough to hold such type of the loads next one is the dynamic load dynamic load from the uh, from the lathe you can see that uh, when the uh, spindle uh, when the uh, spindle starts rotating uh, uh, we can see the movement uh, of the spindle so the, uh, such type of the load occurs due to the movement of the uh, spindle or the feed given uh, to the uh, component or the acceleration and the retardation the following are the source of the vibrations such as the unbalanced rotating parts the improper meshing of the gears the bearing misalignments the uh, in ininterpreted cuts during the machinings so to overcome these loads there are some of the factors are reducing mass of the structure increasing the stiffness of structure then improving the damping properties next comes the thermal load as you all know that a thermal is nothing but the heat so this type of a load occurs due to the local heat sources this local heat sources may be in the form of the motors or the transmission systems so how uh, this heat sources occurs they are occurs from the friction in the moving parts they are from the electrical motors they may be friction in the bearings they may be the, during the machining operations or environmental conditions to overcome this thermal load there are certain factors 
first one is the mounting motor and transmission system externally so it has to maintain the uh, certain distance between the machine uh, and this parts uh, to avoid the uh, heat transfer next one is the proper coolant system during the machining operations here the coolant is nothing but the mixture of the water and the oil to reduce the friction between the two moving parts uh, the next one is the proper lubrication of the bearing the lubrication is required in periodic basis so as to increase the life of the uh, parts next one is the guideways so what is this guideways it is nothing but the channel or the track for controlling the line of motion of a something uh, so there are different types of the guideways there are the v guideways the flat guideways the dovetail guideways and the cylindrical guideways let me study just uh, one by one first one is the v guideways as you see from the figure uh, the v guideways uh, there are basically uh, from the figure you can see that uh, they have the guiding surfaces uh, then the knob to prevent the lifting of the uh, guide so this type of the guideways are used in the lathe machine to overcome the loads one of the major advantage of this type of a guideway is that during the parallel alignment of the guideways the spindle axis is not affected by the wear next one is the flat guideways uh, so for figure you can see that it has the jib strip and the adjustment screws so this type of guideways are used in the cnc machine and it, it has better load carrying capacity next one is the dovetail guideways after a certain period of use we can uh, we, we can see that wear may occur hence jibs with a tapered are accurately fitted over the guideways to reduce this excessive clearance in such cases this dovetail guideways are used next one is the cylindrical guideways for the ease of manufacturing uh, the cylindrical guideways are used they are basically fitted in the bore of a carriage and they are not uh, suitable for the uh, light and the short loads okay uh, so uh, from this session uh, you have studied what is the cnc then basic design factors and the type of the loads uh, then the uh, different types of the guideways thank you